How you fuckers doing tonight? So a guy told me after a set one time, this was in Germany, he says to me, you got real big balls. But then he looks me up and down just like this, looks at me, realizes that that is not in fact the case, and he amended his original statement to, you got some real big ovaries. <laughs> Does anybody know what the fuck that means? All I can think of is possibility number one. It means that Every time I get my period, I bleed so much that it's like a fucking fight scene in a Japanese vampire movie. <laughs> Possibility number two. I could mother a hundred children before my ovaries dry up like a couple of slugs in a salt mine. Possibility number three. I could get ovarian cancer and the doctor would fucking die before he ever found it. I'm not sure I want any of those things. Either way, it ain't the same same implication as having big balls. But like, why is that? Cause like, uh, where's, the, where's the nearest male to me? That would be you, right? Okay, so question. All right. Is there any part of your body other than your balls that I don't even have to hit that hard for you to be doubled over in pain for at least a couple minutes? See? And like, so that's the part of the body that represents strength. Stoicism, masculinity, bravery. But it's the most sensitive part of your body. And it's in this tiny ass little pouch on the outside of your body. You could lose that shit in an accident. <laughs> Not only that, if you pissed me off enough, all I would need is a swift motion and a switchblade and that shit is gone forever. <laughs> you wanna do that to me? You know, this is what you gotta do if you wanna do that to a woman, right? You got to find the woman, you gotta roofie her. You gotta get her into a room without being caught, and then, and then you gotta cut her open, find the fucking ovaries, get them out, sew her back up, put her in a bathtub full of ice. You need a credit card and a medical degree for that shit. That's commitment. Like, if you want, if you want to fuck with a woman's reproduction that badly, just run for office. Anyway, um, so I think God may have been on drugs when he like designed that male genitalia situation, specifically mushrooms. He did a shit ton of them, but he only had one left, right? And he was tripping so hard that he actually thought that last mushroom was like attached to his body right about here. And then he had the thought, gee, why don't I put one of those on Adam? And then he sobered up around the time Abraham showed up, right? And he saw what he had done and he said, hmm, well, these guys seem a bit attached to these things. They seem to sort of like them, but maybe I can make them more presentable. So he's like, Abraham, Abraham, yeah, come over here. Um, here's what I want you to do. I want you to cut the edges off that top part of your dick right there. And then I want you to do it to all the other men. Yes, I'm serious. And if you don't do it, I'm cutting you out of the will. I'm serious, you wanna spend eternity with me or do you wanna spend eternity with some asshole down south? Your choice. Anyway, um, so, you know, there's, there's people who believe in God and say he's good. There's people who don't believe in God. There's this third camp of people who say there is a God, but he's not so good. And they say that's because of all the bad shit that happens. Well. The God is good camp, what they like to say is that the reason for all the bad shit is so that we appreciate the good shit. But here's where I have trouble with that. I mean, think about it. You could have the best, like I could have the best day ever, right? I get some, some hot, really hot girl that I've been pining for agrees to go out with me. I, I get a promotion at, at work. Let's pretend I have a job and I get a promotion at work. <laughs> I get 10 new Twitter followers, and then on my way home, somebody says something shitty to me on the bus, and that's all my day is about now. Like, seriously, that is all my day is about. You know, there were some things, there are some things I would do differently if I was God, you know? Like, if I was God, I would, I would listen to prayers, I would listen to them, and I'd make them happen. So, like, when little Johnny, you know, who's dealing with school bullies, says to me, oh, God, please make all the assholes disappear, I would do it but I'd leave the rest of the digestive tract intact so that, so that everybody would be all backed up, you know, backed up full of shit, basically. You know, gastroenterologists would be making a ton of money for having no answers, you know. 
Elton John would have to, you know, do something else to satisfy his libido, maybe write a new song, call it The Bitches Backed Up. <laughs> and then the prayers to, you know, restore the assholes would start to come in, and as pissed as little Johnny would be, at least he'd have to acknowledge that I have some real big fucking ovaries. <laughs> I've been Alex the Kid Seymour. Thank you and good night. <laughs>